Well guys, I've made it down to South Mim Services. It took me 3 hours 55 driving so I've had to stop because there was no chance of me making it to my my drop. It's going to Belvedere, which is just the uh, it's over the Dartford crossing and and then back in towards London. Um I just got myself a personalised coffee. I'm going to keep it off camera. I'm sure you'll know where I've been. I uh, added myself a wash, uh, brushed my teeth, etc. And I feel nice and fresh now. Plus, it's pissing down me. Well, it's not quite pissing down, but it has been for the, the past day or so of my trip. There's, there's some flooding on the M25, so there was a lane shut as I was getting onto it from the M1. Check out them cars. Nice, nice old Mercedes. Uh, yeah, where was I? Yeah, there's a lane shut on the M25 as you get on. So there's a big tail back because of that. And the M25 is closed, coming the opposite way at the M1. So there was probably about. 10 mile of traffic well not quite 10 mile I don't think I've come that far down 25 yet but there was plenty of it and it, it's still standing now so I'll have to keep an eye on that later on when I leave Chatham I might end up having to take a, an extended detour around the south side of the M25 which will add even more time to the day so it's just one of them filthy Fridays in fucking London. So, back at the truck now. I will. My break should be about over. I was going to have myself a nap, but by the time I've actually walked all the way over to the services, done what I had to do, I wouldn't have even had time to. It wouldn't have even been worth it. So, yeah. This is South Mim Services. Shithole, but decent coffee. Speak to you in a bit. One bit later, I've arrived in Belvedere and it's a bit of a abysmal state. There's literally 15 trucks here waiting in front of me. So I've been advised it's going to be two to three hour wait. Um, the, I've spoke to the, the manager and they're on the case at the moment trying to see if they can move things along or anything but it's not looking like that'll be the case so fortunately he's rearranged the Chatham the Chatham work's gone out the window now he's got uh, another driver to sort that out So I'm just waiting, I'm waiting to find out, waiting on a phone call to see if I'm going to be pulled out of here and just take it back. So, it's one of them things really, you can't help, I mean we couldn't help being late. And, look, it's just... It's just one of them, one of them things. Sorry, my, my lights shining everywhere. So, the so if the, it's looking like I might be just pulled out of here and plodding on all the way back up, and looking at the traffic, and looking at the time, and looking at my hours. <laughs> oh dear, it's it's not looking too promising, really. Let's have a look. 3 hours 56 and 1 hour 15. So I've done 5 hours and 11 minutes driving. So that leaves me 4 hours, 4 hours 49 left to get back to wherever I have to take these. So I... From where I started, it was 45 minutes this morning to 
where I got the trailer from. So that that can, I can discount 45 minutes. So it took roughly three hours 25, four hours 25 to get here. And that's not with a 20 to 30 mile tailback and diversions and everything. So I'll have to study my map, find out diversions and which way is best to try and avoid everything. I'm guessing I can either try and get to the M11 and work my way up via that way to the A14 or alternatively cut myself through and try and either maybe go over the Woolwich Ferry again or take the longer route round the M25 which is which will add I don't know how long to the distance <sighs> one of them things but we'll we'll get there in the end we'll we'll sort it out but I've got like I say I've got four hours 49 driving left but I can only work until 25 to 6 tonight so I need, I need to I need to get a decision soon I've had uh, I've been here 40 minutes now on my break so I've had an I've had a 30 minute working time break and I, I'm most certainly going to clear my driving time as well so I'll have a good run or I'll have a good amount of driving left I'll have a full slot it's just depending on the depending on the journey and the, the mayhem that will ensue uh, update about this morning's video unfortunately I'd, I'd recorded a nice little morning intro shit like I normally do and I've just realised that it didn't record at all so that's why it's a bit of a, a skip forward and yeah I think I'll I'm just gonna have to leave it as that was this morning I can't, can't help that it didn't record so yep yeah, I'll get it back to you later on with how how much more hair I'm gonna have to pull out for this today's today's stress uh, I'll catch you in a bit oh dear well the calls have been made and the buttons have been pushed and luckily I've been uh, called in already after 48 minutes 49 minutes so I can feel the stairs and the conspiracy theories going on while they unload me. Uh, I feel guilty, but basically it's not it's not my choice. I didn't decide for them to push me ahead. So we're getting the job done, getting the delivery done, which is good. I uh, should be getting out of here in about 20 minutes, half an hour. So, all going well. Let's try and get out of here before I end up getting mobbed by angry, angry waiting truckers. Speak to you later. Evening guys. Just a quick update. I've had an eventful afternoon. Uh, I had some good news earlier how I'd pushed in front of people and got to be tipped sooner than anticipated and the load got delivered so the company did really well unfortunately due to the closures in the M25 and me only having 9 hours and a thir 9 hours driving and a 13 hour shift I, I ended up having very little chance to get back which is what I half anticipated last night so I've ended up having to stop roughly two hours away from the yard <coughs> which has left me really really down I had a bit of a moment earlier I've had to, uh, when I found up my dear and told her that I had to stop the conversation because I was a bit it was, it was too hard to carry on I was really really down and I, I still am I'm still bitter and angry about the way it's unfolded today so 
I've stopped, I can start again at uh, roughly four o'clock and get home, hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, get home hopefully about eight, eight o'clock in the morning and then we can get things moving so we can carry on up to Blackpool. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've been so, I've been in really high spirits today, even though, even though it's been a bastard of a day, I've had really high spirits. I've heard Calvin Harris's new tune on Radio 1 all day, and I've had it on YouTube all afternoon, I really like it. It's, it's a close call, but I think it's probably one of his best, it's, it's repetitive, and it's this, uh, monotonous, but, it's just so groovy. I really love it. Really, really like it. Um, anyway, I've been yeah, I've been feeling really happy. I'm excited about tomorrow again up to Blackpool, and I'm looking forward to my weekend. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'm keeping my trying to keep my head held high. Anyway, I'm I'm going to get paid a little bit extra for next week, and yeah. I'm just really gutted I can't get back home and see see everyone tonight so anyway I had a good night's good night's sleep outside Del Factor my old roots uh, I shared the video thanks for a lot of views on that one last night and um, yeah I've been parked up for about an hour or so just pissing around with Facebook and um, I'm just going to get your video edited out and sent out to you all and then I'm going to head off get an early night so I can get back home and get a good week I don't even want to call it the weekend because it's not going to be a weekend now for me so yeah as for you guys have a good weekend I, I might do a bonus video tomorrow uh, just to let you know I won't have much to say in it really because I'm just running back to the yard so yeah, keep keep your fingers crossed. Give me a comment tonight if you want a video. If you want a bonus video for tomorrow, let me know in the comments. And if I don't get a comment by midday tomorrow, I won't put a video up. There's that for a deal. Speak to you later, guys.